More and more diners around the world are digging into bluefin tuna, baked, grilled, or raw. Their taste for tuna has put the species under threat. In 2002, Japanese researchers succeeded for the first time in growing the fish from eggs. More than a decade later, the world's first 100% farm-raised bluefin are popping up on restaurant menus. Here's NHK World's Sachio Sugita. People in Osaka flocked to the opening of this shopping mall late last month. A restaurant inside is the first place in Japan where customers can taste one of the most valued fish, bluefin tuna, that's been farmed from the egg stage. It's incredibly fresh and just delicious. This is why I came here today, and I'm totally satisfied. The bluefin have been farmed at Kinki University's Fisheries Laboratory in Wakayama Prefecture. There are about 5,000 tuna in pens like this. The bluefin can grow up to 2 meters long and weigh over 200 kilograms. This is the first fish that we cultivated fully in 2002. He's 11 years old now. Tokihiko Okada has been growing tuna since the start of the project. He has raised the fish from their incubation periods. He says the time he most worried about them was just after their birth. For a month after they hatched, the young fry crashed into the walls of the tank. They were unable to recognize the barrier. Many of them died by breaking their spines or jaws. Okada and his team placed the sheet in the tank away from the walls to serve as a cushion. Although many fish now hit the sheet, it has improved the survival rate by 3%. Why can't the young fish see the wall? We may have to try and improve their optic nerves just after they are hatched. As they grow, the fish are moved to a tank in the sea where the researchers continue to closely monitor their health. Diet is key to making them taste as delicious as wild tuna. The researchers created two formulas of feed around the vitamins and amino acids the tuna need to survive. The mixtures are fed to them at different stages of growth. Protein is also crucial. By altering protein in the diet, the researchers can control the fish's weight. When they want them to gain fat, they feed them oily mackerel. When they want them to be leaner, they feed them a less fatty fish like coarse mackerel. Finally, the day comes when the cultivated fish make their debut in Osaka. <laughs> We have been raising these fish for three or four years, from day one. It becomes like they're your own children. I just want to hear that people like them. <laughs> the researchers have also successfully recaptured bluefin they have cultivated and released. They're hoping by monitoring and learning from such fish, they can help replenish wild stocks of one of the world's most fished for delicacies. Sachio Sugita, NHK World, Wakayama.